All right, hello once again, and welcome to everybody on YouTube. My name is Dan of Philosopher King Gaming, and welcome to the first of several, I'm not sure how many I'm going to make yet, of my uh, rants, officially, about uh, Assassin's Creed. The entire series culminating with Unity, of course. Now, before we start, let me set the record straight. I love Assassin's Creed. I own every one of their games. Many times I actually got the collector's edition, but that's beside the point. The first rant uh, I want to make about probably the biggest complaint that people have with regards to the game of Assassin's Creed, which is the climbing mechanic. Since the very first of the Assassin's Creed games, this was a major problem. People overlooked it, generously speaking because of the fantastic environments, the great acting, the rest of the great gameplay. A lot of it was really well made, really well done, and the climbing mechanic was maybe a bit too challenging for the first game at the time. They didn't spend enough time on it, or it was just too complicated for them to tackle, um, such that when they saw our intent, they didn't match what we want, um, wanted to do. And that's understandable for the first game. It's the first of its series, really. It's it's unique. It's revolutionary. Or revolutionary. But the main thing is that they never really improved it. Assassin's Creed 2 came along, and the main change that they made was all the climbing is the same, all the running is the same, you still climb when you don't want to, you still jump around to random stuff when you want to just run across the street, or if you're trying to drop down a building, it won't do anything. If you're trying to climb up a should-be easily climbable situation, the game doesn't allow you to. It never fixed it. The one thing it did was said, okay, so here's eventually you're going to get the ability to climb up larger distances of wall at a time. That's helpful, but the tip of the iceberg. Maybe they wanted to break it down into steps. All right, fine. We assume they want to break it down into steps. So, Assassin's Creed 2. Between Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and Assassin's Creed Revelations, not many changes occurred in anything with regards to the climbing mechanic. It was never really improved upon because people never saw it as something that needed to be improved upon, even though it was probably the greatest flaw of the game series in entirety. All right. Assassin's Creed 3 comes along. I apologize if you can't see it. Ah. Steelbook. Ooh. Assassin's Creed 3 comes along and it says, well, it's not enough that we have trouble climbing buildings and running through streets. Now we're going to add into the mix the fact that you're going to have trouble climbing trees, running through branches, and ma navigating through the forest and the wilderness environment, which make up about a third of the entire game area, if not more. What exactly they were thinking with that? I... I, I still can't figure it out. It's like, we haven't fixed the problem we had, so we're going to add in a new set of environments to have the problem continue. Why? Why would you go to the length of making the problem more pronounced? If you're not going to do anything, then at least try not to draw attention to it in new locations. Okay. Still loved the game. I enjoyed it. I played it through to the end. It was a lot of fun. Really, it was. Assassin's Creed 4 comes out. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. A lot of fun. Now you're an assassin on a pirate ship. Eventually. You don't start out with a pirate ship. And you're not an assassin at first. But. Now. We're going to take. The inability to climb up buildings. And up trees accurately to our intentions and we're going to translate that into islands in the Caribbean and 
between ships that are right next to each other. Yes, so my men are about to attack this really large, powerful galleon. There are a lot of things I need to do in order to capture it and get all of its cargo. So I want to be the first one in there. I want to be the one to get to the action first so I can take the brunt of the attack and wear down the enemy's forces quickly. That, to Ubisoft, translates as, let's do a leap of faith into the ocean. And then have you ever so slowly climb up the side of the all-too-life-sized galleon as your men are quickly butchered by the enemy forces. Ugh. Again, why would you put another environment in there for your flaws to shine in and not fix them? Now we come to the latest chapter, Assassin's Creed Unity. I love this game. I love the story behind this game. It's an excellent game. They even took the first real step at trying to fix the problem with the climbing mechanic. The first actual step, the first real effort to fix it. And they tried to differentiate what your character did. So in other words, you have the buttons R2, that just runs, ideally. R2 and X climbs up. R2 and circle is a controlled yet rapid descent. R2 is just simply the run around. And then if you don't press anything, in theory, you don't climb on anything, you don't run, you don't drop down, nothing happens other than you walking at a moderate pace in the direction you want to go. And then uh, L2 also allowed you to enter and exit windows, as well as functioning as the stealth mechanic when you were on level ground. Not a bad idea. It's really not. They have a good theory here. If we can eliminate the uh, y-axis direction of where a person wants to go by differentiating the controls, then all we have to worry about is interpreting the direction of the x-axis, which is left or right. And then we have L2, which controls the Z-axis, which is entering and exiting the building from different points. It's uh, it's a really good idea. Okay, it's really good. And then they screwed it up by not making them exclusive. When you differentiate the controls for your climbing mechanic, meaning R2X goes up... R2 circle should not make you climb on things. R2 alone should not make you climb on anything. When you hit R2 circle, you should not be running in a straight line. It should be to descend. And when you press it, it ought to descend whatever the cost, even if the area you're at is not really advantageous to such a descent. And... Oh, God, it's just... It just it gets so irritating when you sit at a window for five minutes hitting the L2 button because that's what you need to hit in order to climb into a window, and yet you don't enter the window, spotted by guards in the street and are immediately shot down by the ever-so-annoying snipers. It's just so frustrating. They really need to get on this. So the differentiation... It's, it's good. It's promising. It's a good idea. I like what they're trying to do. What they need to do is make it exclusive. R2X goes up and only up. If you're hitting R2X, you cannot descend. You do not leap to the ground, especially when you're in a burning building and leaping means instant death. R2 circle should mean descend. It should not mean leap of faith unless you are at a spot specifically marked for leap of space, leap of faith, excuse me, unless, and only if that is the only, and that should be the only option when you're at such a spot. There should not be a, okay, now we're going to descend a couple flights before we do the leap of faith, because that's exactly what he wants you to do at a synchronization point, is go down five floors before jumping into the hay bale. Yeah, that's what I wanted, game. Good job there. Mm-hmm. Really nice work. 
when you're running from criminal or from thugs and cops in the street using the R2 button, I should not be forced to climb onto a random table chair and crouch there waiting for them to catch and execute me. It should have either avoided the chair or gone over the chair without stopping. R2X is climb up. I did not hit X. It shouldn't have climbed up. They try to make R2 circle is not only descend, it's also the generic flat level free run, meaning that if you come up to a surface, you leap over it without staying on top of it. And if there's a surface you can pass underneath, you will do that without being hung up. Good idea. But if you're programmed to use that whenever you're running away and you come to a building that you can't just jump over, or not a building, but a wall that you can't just instantly leap over, you're going to get stopped and you're going to have to figure out that, oh, yeah, all right, I have to hit the X button to go up to climb over this. I'm not asking for more differentiation. I'm asking for exclusivity. That problem that I just mentioned, it can be overcome. If you actually take the time to say that, okay, I need to learn that approaching a wall that is taller than my character is requires that I hit X to get over it. But then if it's just a fence, when I am over it, I ought to drop down on the other side, not sit up there perched waiting for the snipers to kill me. In summation, good game, bad mechanic for climbing all the way through every single iteration. All seven iterations of the game have horrible, horrible climbing. And they finally made an attempt to fix it, and then they said, well, we're taking a definite step forward, but now we're not going to make all of these controls exclusive for what we want them to do, and so therefore we're going to take a half step back. You have a good idea, but you need to execute with it. They need to be exclusive in the controls, or else it's not going to be an improvement. It's just going to cause more confusion and even more frustration. Because when I was playing the game, and I had to climb for missions or for an escape, and the supposedly differentiated functions failed to do what they're meant to do, and it required a different set of functions, it caused me to fail missions and die a lot. It's not good, but it can be fixed. You just gotta make them exclusive, and then it's just a matter of the players learning how to use them. Once the players learn how to use exclusive controls, the problem should become much, much less. But you gotta take that step, Ubisoft. And anyone else who's out there who stuck with me through 13 minutes of my complaining, eh, I did not intend for it to go that long, but that is a huge weight off my chest. Thank you so much to everyone for watching. Press like if you want more people to see it, and subscribe if you want to hear more. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.